When I threw the drone up in the air this morning, I had this great big epic idea about a video of our adventures to a private little lakeside spot that was offered to us by Jamie, one of our subscribers. And as I'm editing this video, I realized that half of my talking clips I had to throw out. They, they couldn't go in the edit because they were so bad. I thought I was going to level my game up, like get an external microphone and let's beat this wind noise. Turned out the external mic made it worse. We had a subscriber of ours reach out to both me and Emmy and offer up a lakefront spot to go relax at. A little bit of privacy and they even have a couple of kayaks there that we can take out on the water. So that's where we're heading. We just left the pavement. We're now on the dirt and I'm excited for it today. Come on, we get to go paddle out on a lake? Yes, please. And besides, this may be what, what makes the decision on if we should buy kayaks or not. There's been a lot of times on this trip where both her and I are like, ah, it'd be nice to go out for a paddle right now. So maybe having access to uh, a couple of kayaks might be the decision maker after all. All this beeping and stuff is driving me <laughs> absolutely crazy. My check engine light came on the other day. My airbag light's been on and off. My brake light's been on. My my fuel gauge saying I have low fuel's been on. Over here, my little square thing that kind of gives me a bit of an update with a bit more writing says low fuel. That's never done that before. My gas gauge hasn't worked in a long time. My RPMs don't work. <laughs> that beeping. I had a hard time finding a mechanic to get my van into, but I found one that's gonna get me in in a handful of days. And uh, they're gonna full on check out everything, including my squeaky, squeaky, squeaky suspension in the back. Uh, anyway, I don't wanna talk about that stuff. We're going out to a private lakefront spot. Thank you to a subscriber of ours and I'm stoked about shutting my van off and stopping that. Not only do I got squeaky, 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 I got beep, 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 beep too. It's so annoying. Huh, that's nice. So if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, don't get caught up in gear. I use my damn iPhone, and the audio in the iPhone is actually really decent. I wish I didn't get this mic. Oh, I'm excited for this one now. Why is it when I get excited, I rub, I rub my fuzzy beaver? <laughs> let's do that, let's, let's check out the boat. So the subscriber said he hasn't had a chance to come up here in a while. So he was pretty excited to to let us use the space. Sure is peaceful out here, that's for sure. I'm hungry. And <laughs> we're driving out here and there was no town around to grab groceries from. And I ain't got squat all in my fridge because my fridge is on the on the kaputs. <laughs> Cruzy's over there already taking advantage of the spot, sprawled out. Owning a little spot like this in van life would be kind of cool. Just a little place, it's got no structures, no bathrooms, no nothing, where you could literally just pull up here in your van and enjoy a time by a lake. Buying it out here on the East Coast would be super, super affordable. A spot like this on Vancouver Island would just be ridiculously expensive. Yeah, man, having a little spot like this would be kind of nice to just come have your own piece of land and maybe put a shed on it with some toys to go play out on the lake with. And hmm, hmm, chunky noodle soup. That'll do. Warmed up some water here. We got to give the new tattoos a bit of a wash. A little bit of water and unscented soap. The tattoo guy gave me some pretty awesome stickers, so we're gonna stick one right up there, I think. Right, right there. Oh yeah. By the time you guys answer this question, I may be down at the bottom of the lake. Can one person go in a tandem kayak? 
I would guess so. Like I'm kind of sitting center. So we're going to film the rest of this on my GoPro. This GoPro has a smashed back screen. I don't know how I did it, how I wrecked it, but I did, so. My heart is 100% full right now. Listen to that wind noise. On a over $200 microphone. I was so super annoyed editing this video today and frustrated that me thinking I was going to level my game up by getting a better external mic instead of using the internal one on my iPhone, I was a little disappointed. This little lake out here in Nova Scotia was unbelievably beautiful and we felt spoiled rotten. So Jamie, thank you for offering us up your little piece of paradise here. We had a blast. If you look at a little speck on the water, that's someone out there on a paddleboard. I wanted to get the drone look right above them so I could film them, but I didn't want to freak him out about this little buzzard way up in the sky. <sighs> a little proud of Cruzy Bear. He did really awesome on the kayak. Now I want to buy one. And this one doesn't have a bag in it. A hammock, number two. And this one's a new one, I just got it from Costco. Oh, this one's got different, ooh. All right. If I like this one better, I might go get a second one. I do like the blue though. I'll give it that. Mm, good. It's good? Yes, thank uh, you. Are you good in there? You need anything? <laughs> no. Okay, see you later. <sighs> Keeping yourself entertained when you're sitting still is not easy. It's not. People always say, just relax a little bit. I can't. <laughs> I was just sitting here, I was like, Emmy, it's hard to sit still. She's like, oh, I know, I've been thinking the same thing for the last hour. It's not even that warm outside, so this might not be that great. And we'll see if this works. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's pop this in there. See how fast this works. Oh, come on, y'all. That was about five minutes. Took us more time to <laughs> to blow these things up than we spent in the water. Not a boy, buddy. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we do. We just sit here. And that's what people do, I guess. Oh, it snuck out. 
You know what happens? You don't use it and it sneaks out, babe. <laughs> <laughs> let it out, let it out. Let's do it. Oh, babe. Please. Joe, 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 <laughs> he smelled it. It was like, no, we're going to hang out until Emmy smells me. <laughs> I just smell it before you put your nose. I'm like, oh yeah, he's coming out. <laughs> no, no, don't you on this. I want to thank Jamie, our subscriber, for giving us access to this little piece of paradise of his. Really means a lot to me. And this little space here taught us a few really good lessons. It taught me that I need to now go buy a tandem two-person kayak so me and Cruzy can go out and paddle on the water anytime we want because that little dog of mine loved his time out on the boat. If you want to see the video, um, I posted an entire video of his adventure on the water on Cruz's channel. The channel is Cruz the Bulldog. But being here on this little piece of land taught me that I don't think I'm ready to slow down and buy a piece of dirt yet. You know, I thought about it. You know, it always seems kind of cool, maybe a little spot by the lake where I can relax. But when you get access to a piece of paradise like this and realize that you had a hard time relaxing just one day, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of nomad that needs to just roam around. I've been using a new microphone in this entire video, so hopefully things sound good. Nope, it this didn't. wind here would have been completely destroyed talking nah, audio on just my regular iPhone itself. You may be able to still hear the wind it's noise, but bad, as long as you bro. can hear my voice bro. clear without that, it sounded that worse than that. Okay, so in that clip, I said this would have been completely destroyed using the iPhone. Believe it or not, the iPhone would have sounded better in that windy situation than this $200 external microphone. Oh my gosh, it was so annoying today. This is the second quality external microphone that I've used, and the other one had this great big fuzzy thing on the end of it, and I didn't like it because you could hear the microphone move when I'm walking around with my camera. You can hear the microphone bouncing and stuff like that. I've had nothing but bad experiences using external microphones on my iPhone. Sure, it may be different if I had a big fancy camera with a quality mic that was properly attached, but the ones on the iPhone have a tendency of bouncing around a little bit, or you can just hear the movement. I don't know. I was super annoyed today. I was about ready to throw this video in the garbage. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to talk on my microphone and voice it over just to save this content. It was too much of a pretty day not to show you guys. But if you're going to start a channel, don't get caught up on gear. Use the phone that's in your pocket. I've been doing that since the start of this channel. I started my channel on my iPhone 7, upgraded it to an iPhone 10, iPhone 11, and now my iPhone 13. Yeah, it's working out. This external mic is going in the garbage. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ugh. Anyway, I'm just babbling and complaining this whole video. <laughs> See you guys.